Hello everybody, Anthony is here and this is an important chapter from my Scaling Serify tutorial. If you're curious about the full tutorial, the link is in the top right corner and there is a 30% discount code in the description. I want to show an advanced auction hide tip. So here I have these containers and what I want to create is a whole space inside this particular part. So what I will do, I pick this layer and I will just go hide through everything. And we'll just go create this little wall and then I will hide it from this side. I will hide that part. And now I know that I have that gap inside, so I just need to go in and I'm just losing myself here a little bit because it's just keep jumping all over the place. So what I want to do is I want to have a voxel hide, but I'm picking the voxel hide a little, bit deep, a little bit deeper on the slanted surface. And then if I go and do a hide, I get my hole. I think I might have to go a bit deeper. I'll do a hole again. So what I have now, I have this kind of nice gap inside, but these walls, they're way too thick for a ship this size. So I need to figure out a way, how can I unhide some of that? So I can go pick this a bit closer and then go control unhide and then pick that space over there and go draw a hide. So now, now we have a bit of like a layered effect. We have multiple paneling, which makes it look way more realistic in terms if you're talking about like a large scale ship. And then I can also press control to unhide some of this paneling to create even more interesting results. That's probably not that great. And maybe it will hide even bigger part. And because the mesh is somewhat low resolution, even though it's like at 7 million triangles, I'm getting this random artifacts, which kind of can be sometimes what you desire for a quick design. Okay, so now I have that little gap, which I think let me let me create a bit more paneling, but at the lower lower depth. So here I've done that at the top, and then what I did also, you know, is the blob tool to create some kind of internal mechanism inside. So then I just start to layer on top is an on plane and blob. Now we have some kind of, say, pipes going through. And there we go, we've created this kind of intricate design with a bit of a, a more advanced box hiding technique on different levels of the object. 